Kardashian. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I forgot to record yesterday all the things I said I was doing. I did get them done, though. Um, I just forgot to record it. But today is the second day um, of the tour that I'm doing. And I have to drive to um, Grand Rapids, which is not far as so Michigan, where I'm from. So yeah, I don't have my um, tripod in my hand. It's right here, but I'm probably getting it out. It doesn't matter. So this might be a little bit crooked. I'm still trying to get used to um, getting back to vlogging. Cause y'all know I've been gone, so. Yeah, but um, I'm getting ready to go to Grand Rapids for the show tonight and then I will be hopping on a plane early in the morning tomorrow going to Ohio and then St. Louis and then come back home for a little bit and then I'll be going out again so y'all I did my hair last night this is like 30 inches I think it's like 50 inches really um braided I did little you know little dookie braids because that was the last resort I was gonna try to stick it out and wear a wig um the whole tour because i just wanted to you know be cute you know but yeah a wig is not it's not the look when you got to do all this moving and stuff so hopefully i can like actually vlog y'all like i'm just i don't know y'all know i'm shy around other people and i don't be having nothing to talk about and i don't know but maybe i can just like kind of like just figure out what I'm doing you know what I'm saying because I would love to show you guys like the behind the scenes and all of that stuff I can't show you um when we're like performing and stuff unless I like get like a video off of YouTube or something like that but um because I can't have my camera or my phone <laughs> um during that time <clears throat> but yeah I'm just keep y'all updated as we go off this journey I'm headed to Target actually first because I need to get um a travel toothbrush and Too Faced I've been procrastinating like I keep going to the store to go get it and then I never go get it because they don't have the toothpaste I want but I'm just have to settle um yeah and I need some shower shoes too Ugh. get these kids anyways okay so I will see you guys in a minute okay y'all so I made it to Grand Rapids and I am two hours early of course because y'all know me if I'm not early, then I'm really, really late. So I had to be early. Um, I'm like right outside the venue. Um, but like I said, I have time. So I think that I might want to go to Wahlberger just because I need to use the bathroom. Let's see if I do. Yeah, I need to go to the bathroom, <laughs> number one. Number two, I don't think that I can go into the venue right now. So, and I'm kind of like in an awkward spot. So I'm on the street right now, but the time says that you can park from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. like for the time limit so I don't know if I can actually stay here because I know I won't be getting out of here until like 10 I'm gonna go on the website I'm gonna call them I'm gonna call them and see <laughs> like okay if I park here right now and I pay the fees for the whatever hours after 6 p.m. I don't have to pay no more right like that's what I'm assuming because if I can stay right here it's perfect like I can go in this way I believe because that's where I see all the um um anyways that's where all the people are that like are like building the stage and stuff like that and then like the tour bus is back here and all of that so that's what I'm assuming but I'm not sure um yeah but yeah so I'm gonna just sit here figure that out and then I'm gonna end up changing my shirt because we have to wear all black with white shoes which I think I showed you in my last um video clip of the Detroit show so yeah I think that I should just go get gas right now because if I don't ugh, I don't even know if my gas station will be open where I go crap but I already paid for my parking right here so I think I'm just gonna walk down the Wahlberger and go to the bathroom I might get something to drink I'm not really hungry so even if I get like some fries or something, that'll be straight. And I'm gonna try to bring my camera in because I don't really wanna leave it in the car because it's too much, like, uh, it's too hot out here, number one. It's like almost 100 degrees. And I don't wanna leave my camera. It's, it's expensive, so 
Maybe I'll just put it in my purse somehow, some way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm not supposed. So I'm on a break from social media. I'm not supposed to be on here, but I'm checking my messages again. Anyways, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I got off the internet because there's this trending thing that's happening. And it always happens around this time of year. It's like, it's nothing new. Um, but the Lord has showed me something. He has shown me a vision. I want to say about, had to be at least, I say at least 12 years, but I want to say it was more like 15 years ago. And it's so crazy because like, you know, like how sometimes like God speaks to you, God speaks to you and you just like, not, I couldn't have been him. I was just tripping, you know, or whatever the case may be. Like, <laughs> you don't think that it's from him until that thing that he shows you or that he says actually happens. Like it comes to pass. And so I was reading the book of revelation, right? Y'all and this image popped up in my head and it didn't make sense when it did that it didn't make sense at all like it scared me for sure um and kind of like put me on kind of like the right path like i mean i still was acting up not gonna lie but it like really changed changed my perspective on things and like it was this particular artist um that i'm not gonna name right now until god you know tells me to but um they were a part of this thing and it didn't make sense to me like at all and then all of a sudden what i saw it is what what it is what it is and it's so crazy <laughs> it's so crazy to, to even imagine the craziness that's about to happen it's not even craziness the, the biblical um the biblical truth that's about to happen like you know what i mean like it's scary it's scary and it's not scary because um he's coming back because i already knew he was coming back but jeez he don't be lying y'all i'll tell you that god is not a man that he shall lie <laughs> so yeah so i'm just going through some right now and i just don't want I don't know. I know who my God is. I know who I serve. And I just know that a lot of people that say that they are Christians, like some people don't understand. So, okay, hey, I'll give you that pass. But for the people that do understand and they just kind of like, mm, that's not true. I cannot, I cannot defend them or commend them for their thoughts on the situation because they're wrong. <laughs> they're wrong. So, yeah, it's just a lot. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot to, um, it's a lot to think about. So, right now, I'm just not going to be on social media for a couple of days because I already know that that is about to be a whole thing, and I don't want a parts of it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want any of those songs stuck in my head. I don't want it at all like i really feel like it's very um demonic i don't believe that it is from god and i don't believe that god wants you to listen to it either because ain't no way but that's just my opinion um my opinion but anyways so i'm about to get off here because i need to go to Wahlburger and go use the bathroom all right so let's go walk around and look at downtown grand rapids I don't know if you're gonna be seeing me so soon younger. us from our path he said in his word that he would guide us now I meet him Sally Let's see. Okay, we're in the back 
We're in the back. We're in the back. Say hi, y'all. She's a pro. She's gonna go on my YouTube. Second show is done. Um, this show was so good. Like, <sighs> it was really good. I've been having so many like conversations with God and he just keeps amazing me. That's all I can say. So tomorrow is Columbus and um, I gotta get home. We'll get to my mama's house so I can be ready for my flight in the morning. So y'all pray for your girl. <laughs> hopefully I'll make it home. I will, not hopefully, I will make it home. Okay, duh. Oops, excuse me. See y'all later.